Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an airline pilot and our 787 has shrunk a little bit. This time we're sitting here in the ATR-72 which is gonna be a whole different animal. So, other airplane, other kind of operation, but I'm sure this is going to be just as interesting. So, welcome everyone. Now, what is the plan for today? We have another lovely Watson event today, this time hopefully without 45 degree delay vectors, because this time we are going island hopping, and we're currently standing here on Rodas Airport, and from here we're going to go over to Heraklion, and then hopefully back time permitting. Well, I'm, I'm fairly sure time will permit. So, that is about that. So, um... Let's go ahead and start our preparations. As said, slightly different airplane, but just the same sort of fun. And here we are in the ATR-72 cockpit. So, um, let's start powering up the airplane. And surely those are supposed to be off. So, power levers in ground idle, condition levers off, flaps up, gear lever down, and the wipers are off. With that, we can start powering up our airplane. So give me the battery. Provided that it's even going to come on, which it is, nice. And with the battery starting, we can also put on the external power. Okay, enough lights since the airplane is powered, very nice. So, looking outside the window though, the weather has changed a little bit. And instead of a lovely sunny Greek island, we are actually facing some more challenging weather this time. And we've got a, quite a couple of rain showers in the area, which is going to make it more interesting en route, since we can't simply cl climb above them in the ATR. And in that, instead, we um, are facing some showers with reduced visibilities, surely making everything a little bit more interesting for every one of us. Okay, so, you know the drill. We are going to use Sim Toolkit Pro in order to view our Sim Brief flight plan that I have created for this. And let's have a quick look into the weather forecast down here. Basically, Diagoras, light drizzle, few TCUs, and look into the forecast, that is until 1500. So that is actually still current. We have prop 40, 2000 meters in thunderstorms. Our destination, Heraklion, is looking quite a bit better. Over here, we just got a couple gust forecast and some prop 30 reduced visibilities in rain. Now, not exactly the Greek island weather that I was hoping for, but then again, this is uh, quite alright. I don't know about delays. Um, I would surely hope that we aren't going to encounter many, but you never know. So for that reason, I would say we are just about going to take a little bit of uh, extra fuel there. And you know what? We're actually just going to tank up for a round trip. So 1355 is what they say we need, 600 is what we use. The way back is probably also going to be 600 the like, so if we just about tank at 2,500 kilograms, then we should be fine for both sectors, really. And that way we can make for a quick turnaround. So, 2,500 kilograms, and obviously we are going to use a full traffic load, so that is um, 7,000 kilograms of payload. So let's go ahead and say weight and balance, that is pretty much loaded. And over here we said we needed 7,100 kilograms, so something like that. And that actually brings us pretty close to our maximum takeoff weight, just a couple hundred kilos below it. Okay, so that's going to be our aircraft setup. And my polar friend, do you have to manually press the attendant call button in the ATR because the seatbelt sign does not use the chime? Um, I'm not sure about that, to be honest. I would kind of expect that you just don't hear the chime from the cockpit. But okay, let's quickly go over the setup. We are in hectopascals, synchronized, Celsius, kilograms, low EASA, and I don't want the throttle hint. That should be all. Very good. So, well, with all of that set, let's go ahead and set up our aircraft. So, fuel pump, left side works, truss feed works, right side works, and off again. System test is looking good. Fire tests. Works. Then for the lights, we only need enough light at the moment. Propeller brake. 
I wish they would do something about it that you didn't need to move your view all around just to engage the propeller brake every time. But, well, so be it. Generators on. Oh. This is looking good. Then, going on over here. Emergency lights armed. Fueling is complete, so the belts can go on. Then... Windshield heat on, AC wild generators on, hydraulic pumps on. And on the last side, gonna run the uh, light test. And everything is looking good. So light test checked. Oxygen on. And the fire test over here, I hate it. I constantly, accidentally pull the um, fire lever. Very careful here that I'm not messing it up. But this looks quite a bit better, okay. So let's go ahead and test our uh, engines. So that, that completed. We can surely also use a little bit of lights there. And then weather radar we can put in standby. Flight deck door, ain't gonna touch that. Ice test we don't need to do. APM test we do need to do. Here we go. And that is looking good to me. Okay, so for the rest of that stuff, we can simply clear it. And procedure menu, perfect. That's all we needed. Okay. Then, nav display, ND overlay, I want nav aid and I want the airport. Weather is looking good. And finally, going on to the transponder, 2000 is the standard IFR squawk. And TCAS auto looks good. Okay, perfect. Then, let's go ahead and do the FMS programming. So, ATR72. Looks good, uh, enough data, Microsoft database, and that is current, return. Okay, so flight plan in it, route. We're going from Lima, Golf, Romeo, Papa, towards Lima, Golf, India, Romeo. And the flight ID is going to be Olympic 195. And execute. Okay, departure. Let's actually see what they have got active. We've got Natus on 126.135. 1 to 6. Actually, no, that's incorrect. Uh, escape. 126350. That's better. Okay, Roman used 2.4. That is primarily what I wanted to know here. Okay, in terms of the departure, we are probably looking at the Lokna 2 Tango, but I really don't know, so might be that we have to change that later on. For now, let's select... Uh, we don't even have that over here. Nice. Okay, you know what? We're just about going to grab our IFR appearance. That's going to make our life easier. One to one point.
Ground, good afternoon. Olympic 195, information Alpha, request clearance to Heraklion. Olympic 195 is cleared to Heraklion, Lochner to Alpha Departure, Ramey 24, climb 6000 feet, squawk 7007. And somebody says they can't hear ATC. Why is that? It literally worked a minute ago. But, seems like it indeed. Okay, stand by one second. I'm gonna change the uh Now you can hear ATC. Sometimes I really don't know why um, that stuff doesn't work. But, well. Okay, Lochner to Alpha, that's what we need. Then Lochner, Airway, Victor 57, and that is going to lead us towards um, Labox. Where is it? Here we go, Labox. Execute. And the arrival we're going to enter en route when we actually know what we are going to get. Okay then. Um, data in it. Earth in it. So we're going to cruise at. What did they actually plan? It can't be particularly high. Um, they plan flight level 160. Okay. That is higher than I expected. So oh, that's that. Alternate is going to be Hanya, and that's going to be at 10,000 feet. As always, take the plan a little while there to load that stuff up. Okay, then wait. So I'm just about going to import them automatically. Like this. And for the fuel, we're looking at a reserve of uh, 545. Nice. Performance, transition altitude 6000, and the speeds are wet, so let's reduce V1 a little bit, and that's it. Okay, perfect. That is all we need. An automatic speed control, initial climb 6000 feet is what we got. Here we go, 6,000, heading, enough speed, and that's all we need, really. Okay. Let's do the final cockpit preparation checklist. So, park and brake. Engaged. Altimeters. 1006, reading 20 feet. Landing elevation, checked. FMS Comna, set. Fuel quantity, fuel on board. Reset. Oh, uh, sorry. Fuel quantity fuel on board is checked, obviously. 2,500 kilograms. Engine fuel used. Reset. Memo panel. Check. And power management takeoff. Final cockpit preparation checklist complete. Cool. Then let's go ahead and do the takeoff briefing. Um, left the takeoff on Romeo 24. Flaps 15. Noise abatement procedure number 2. And the takeoff speed is going to be 108. 113. 117. Initial climb on the sit, and then it's going to be a right-hand turn out. Contact uh, departure when advised control. by air yeah, traffic nine, control. Nine, Apart from that, um, in case of any emergencies, we can go out to the ocean and over the ocean, pick up a holding. Just be sure we don't accidentally fly into Turkish airspace, as that could become quite expensive. Um, then let's have a look into the taxi. And I can do that one after you, I hope. Here we go. So we are parking down here on the apron. And we might as well just about get the parking stance as well. So parking here number 14 is going to be a power back into Juliet and then out to the right hand side via Alpha for a runway 24 for length departure. I'll sit, Lochner. One Alpha. Here's the chart. Okay, Lochner one Alpha. Lockner 2 Alpha, straight at on the 254 radial from Rodos until 14 DME. Let's see how that looks in the flight plan. So, Papa Alpha Romeo, slash 14. Left turn 198 to intercept the 243 outbound Rodos towards Lockner. 
Okay, we can take a little uh, conventional backup there, which is 108.6. 6 going active in F1, and then we have 115.8 in the standby. And we do the opposite on the other side, 115.8. And 108.6. And that's all we need. So, bring up the view up, Marcus, and that's all. Any questions on the departure briefing? Hope not. So, that's that part completed. Okay, perfect. And with that, I would say we are pretty much ready to go. And so, Kelt Gaming, I love the ATR, but sometimes it's too slow for me. A flight that would take 20 minutes in the 737 takes an hour and a half in the ATR. Yeah, sort of. I mean, it's not too bad. Come on. Okay, anyway. Um, the prop break is engaged. Let's start number two in hotel mode, and then they can disconnect everything. Basically, they can close up everything except the ground power already. And actually, we don't even need the hotel mode. We can just start engine number one straight away. Olympic 195, request power back. Uh, actually, correction, request startup only at first. Uh, Olympic uh, 195, set score 7007, please. Uh, 7007 is in the box, Olympic 195. Oh, there you are, Olympic 105, startup approved, Genich 1006. Startup approved, 1006, Olympic 195. Okay, 1006 is okay, in. Olympic Nana Yankee Mike is also ready okay, for startup. In as well now. Okay, so. Olympic Nana Yankee Mike, stand by, break, break, engine 317, how long the beacon, push? and that. So, uh, let's do the um, B4 propeller rotation checklist. CDLS on, FMS, and takeoff data. that. Is confirmed. Trim on three axes. Set, tail prop on board, doors closed, fast belts. Uh, are on and beacon on before propeller rotation check is complete. Okay, start engine number one. An eight. And percent, fuel on. Four X ray alpha two four. Four X ray alpha two four, Calispera, Diabolus ground, you cleared Iraqio, lock not to alpha departure, or uh, 2-4, initial climb 7, uh, correction, 6,000 feet, and your score for today is 7030. Can you repeat the departure again? Your departure will be Lochna to Alpha departure. So clear to... Uh, okay, that's a good start on engine number 2, uh, on engine number 1. Let's go ahead and disconnect the ground power unit. And then we can start engine number 2. Forex Alpha 2, 4, uh, read back is correct. Confirm your start number, please. And percent, fuel on. Number uh, 1 to Alpha. Forex Alpha 2, 4, roger that. Okay, single channel is gone, low pitch is showing, and the propeller brake obviously can go. Walker 2099, Kaispera, the hour ground, you're clear to Iraqio, lock map to Alpha departure, runway 2-4, initial climb 6,000 feet, and scock. Uh, seven zero two five. Break on. Thank you very much. Up break off. That's going off. Six thousand seven zero The propeller brake is coming on again. Why is that? Six zero nine nine nine. That is correct. Anybody got an idea about why it's doing that? Olympic one six Papa Mike. Propeller brake off. That is what I want. Number three. It just comes on again. Okay, well, we're gonna turn that on. That's feather number uh, two again. I might have messed something uh, up in there during the startup process. Okay. That's number two feather for the prop break off. Let's turn the break off. 
It did fly for Charlie to spare the hour of ground. I don't see a flight plan. Could you please refile? Um, I'm going to refile. I'm going to refile. And now the engine is running up properly as it should. That's much better. Okay, it's running now. Perfect. So we do not need anti eyes. Let's see another Yankee Mike after passing a Zian Airbus A320 passing from right to left on Juliet pushing And then we can do our flight control. Oh no, we can't. It's an ATI. <laughs> That's what happens if you change between different aircraft types all the time. Let's do the before text. Flight warning system, recall, cockpit com hatch, closed, and that's condition levers, auto, anti-icing, off, TRU, on and checked, any skid test performed, flaps 15, north wheel steering, on, before taxi checklist complete. Agent 5 for Charlie, I have your clearance ready, I'd like to copy. Oh, come on, oh, we're ready push to copy first. Agent uh, <laughs> 54 Charlie, you're cleared Iraq Leon. Lock not you off for departure, runway 24, initial climb 6000 feet, and squawk 7075. Clear Iraq Leon, knock uh, to Alpha departure, initial climb uh, 6000 feet, squawking 7075, the GN 54 Charlie, thank you. Agent 54 Charlie, read back is correct. Olympic 195, request power back. Olympic 195, uh, say again. Olympic 195, request power back. Olympic 195, power back is approved. Phase East, can it 1006? Power back approved, Phase East, 1006, Olympic 195. Okay, taxi light on, then let's Walker put them into reverse. We are ready. Walker 2999, stand by. Actually, just a question. Are you able to taxi right away? We're getting a couple uh, of cautions there. That is actually normal during power back, so we are going to disregard those. Hey, Walker 2099, we can do that. Lovely, Walker 2099. Uh, start of approved, Kinich 1006. Start of approved, 1006. Walker 2099. Agent 225, contact the tower, 182. Have a great flight, bye bye. Special calling, Scotland? Yes, this is Europa 245, good evening. Europa 245, good evening. Uh, the hour is ground, that's your message. Yes, we have... Okay, uh, let's go a tiny bit forward to align ourselves with the taxi line. Europa 245, stand by one. Olympic 195, request taxi. Olympic 195, stand by. Come on, just tell me follow the aircraft ahead. Holding point six Papa Mike, taxi holding point alpha runway two four via alpha. Taxi alpha runway two four via alpha. And Nagao, WestJet must be quite rare in Greek Island. Holding point yeah. five, uh, follow the company DC six to holding point alpha runway two four. Olympic one nine five, follow the company DC six holding point alpha runway two four. Okay, that's uh, got to be the DC-6 over here then. Probably my sim just doesn't have a model to replace it, and therefore shows it as an A320. But then we're gonna follow him. The good thing is, with the DC-6 flying in front of us, we have comparable performance with the ATI and with the DC-6. So that's gonna make our life uh, a lot easier. we are ready for taxi. Okay then, let's do the takeoff briefing. Left seat takeoff runway 24, flaps 15, noise abatement procedure 2, takeoff speeds 108, 113 and 117. The sit straight ahead with a slight left hand turn after 14 miles and we are going to contact ATC when advised by the tower. In case of any emergency, we make a slight right hand turn out to the open water, climbing 3000 feet and pick up the hold. 
Just be sure that we don't turn too far to the right because there is Turkish airspace coming up right Okay, and that's pretty much the entire departure briefing already. And taxi checklist. Oh my god, it's not too Olympic 195, yes, yes. Okay, so. My controls. Up, down, left, right. So, oh, taxi checks. Taxi and takeoff lights on, brakes checked, and then we have flight guidance control panel FMA. Set checked, takeoff config test performed, taxi checklist complete. Jagovas Tower, Kalispera, Olympic 195, ready in sequence. Olympic 195, Jagovas Tower is behind the departing company D6 lineup, runway 24 and wait behind. And the company DC6 lineup, runway 24 and wait behind, Olympic 195. Okay, behind that guy, we can line up and wait. Oh. So. Lights on. Transponder. On. So that we can do the before takeoff checklist down to the line. At least we should be able to. Just needed to. Interesting, we just needed to press the takeoff config test once more so that it actually brought up the before takeoff checklist. Okay, behind him we line up behind. I'm just about going to take it a little bit slower there. The approach seems clear already as far as we can see. Ah, he's stopping. I expected that. Okay. And we are going to stop as well for a second. And use the time to read the before takeoff checklist. Takeoff briefing performed, gas clock, off flight control. Uh, yeah, well, tower, hello, that's Yankee Mike. Checked, boost function, off airflow. Normal. Before takeoff checks complete to the line. Uh, continue, Nana Yankee Mike. An M Flyer Robin would like to see the DC6. Yeah. Uh, one day I'm gonna cover that on the channel as well. Just gotta find the time, really. Okay. Lining up. Right side is clear. Go. Tower, good afternoon, Kalispera Walker 2099 on Alpha, we are ready. Okay. Below the line, cabin crew seats for departure, please. Cabin crew advised, engine bleeds on, external lights on, except the takeoff light. Lateral flight director bar, centered, rudder cam centered before takeoff check is complete. Squawk 7052. Wow, at that altitude he's getting a new squawk. I would just have told him stand by. And please select the frequency. So, oh, beautiful looking aircraft. Now it's just about time we get a clearance to fly it. Level 
if I made a mistake with that frequency. One, three, three. Like that. Come on, you can clear us. We are slow as well. Olympic 195, ready. Olympic 195, wind to 45 knots, runway 24, clear takeoff. Wind to 4, clear takeoff, Olympic 195. Okay. Checklist is complete, lights are on, crew seated. Take a thrust. Number 8, Mane Yankee Mike. Power set. And timing. The knee knots. One, rotate. You're up, both and right. A little bit out of trim here. Must be to be, must be to five, but I'll take another five. See you. Hello, Red Alcon, Hello, Olympic 195, 1300, climbing is 6000. Olympic 195, Hello, Red Alcon, climbing flight level 120. Climb flight level 120, Olympic 195. Okay, flight zero. We climb level 120. Good to me. Off the takeoff checklist. Landing gear. Up, flap, zero, power management, NP. Climate checked. Engine bleeds on. Taxi and takeoff lights. Are off. Off the takeoff checks. Complete to the line. Maintain 110. Maintain 110. Olympic 605. Able visual departure to Athens. Athens. 675, clear the roses, shutter, departure, right, and, and we are nice and on the way. Flight level 60, Scope 70, 65. Visual departure, 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 visual Flying a little bit by hand, we gotta enjoy the weather while it lasts. Who knows what it's gonna look like by the time we get back. And I have to say, the ATR is really a lot of fun to fly manually. I like the flight model, I really like it. Apparently a lot of the testers who were involved in the development of the ATR actually said that the flight model is really good as well. Leipzig Niner Yankee Mike Hello Radar Contact Climb Flight Level 100. Climb to Flight Level 100, Leipzig Niner Yankee Mike. Olympic 105, turn right, heading 280. Right heading 280, Olympic 105. For what reason? Separation. Why isn't the guy behind turning? King Asher, thank you for Delta. Hello, uh, Airborne. Cross <sighs> We've seen that in uh, Prague already, haven't we? that we get turned out, even though the guy behind is overtaking us. And that is just not how it should be. If the guy behind is faster, then he needs to be turned out. 
if we are overtaking someone, then we need to give way, you know? That is the standard rules of the air. If you want to overtake somebody, then you need to assure, well, then you need to give way, you know? But Watson controllers, for some reason, always seem to think like 737 and A320 are always under priority. And anything coming from behind, or anything that is not flying the speed of the 737 or A320, has to give way. That seems to be Watson logic. Obviously, that is not how it works in real life. I've had several cases already where I flew 140 knots from 30 miles out in 737 when I am. Um, when I was behind an ATR. So, that is just not how you control. LL 543, Hello, uh, Newswalk uh, 6625. And my Polish friend upgraded to business class channel membership. Thank you very much. And welcome as a business class member. I do hope that you are going to enjoy all the uh, members only videos. Okay, transition altitude, set standard. Passing 6-2, now. And then we can put the autopilot on as well, I suppose. LL five four three descent flight level two hundred. Olympic one hundred five direct Labour. Olympic one hundred five direct Labour. Olympic one six Papa Mike direct Labour. Direct Okay, Labour execute. Olympic 105, climb the flight level uh, correction. Light ticket 9 and Yankee Mike, climb the flight level 160. Up to flight level 160, light ticket 9 and Yankee Mike. Shark 173, station 173, contact tower 118, decimal 2. Tower 118, decimal 2, Shark 173, station 183. Blocked, please do not talk over, over at seven. it's very busy. Top Sky 76, hello, radar contact, flight level 370. Let's get Niner Yankee Mike, extra that flying. Uh, we are giving our best. Thank you. I'll Walker 2099 at 5,200. Walker 2099, hello, continue 5,6000. To November Tango, when we can descend. To uh, to November Tango. Um, okay, so we are in Atlanta. Now that is the point where we are going to enter the. Um, that's the point where we are going to enter the star. So we just got to check which star we're actually going to get here. One to Bravo descent flight level one three zero. ODG John, what you say is true about what you say about Vatsum is true, but as a controller you get parted with egos from time to time. They create an atmosphere where you'd be more inclined to get the slower aircraft out of the way. Yeah, I heard that in the voice of the guy behind me, but honestly then you know then he nonetheless. I don't care. And I just don't care. It's just annoying that when flying the ATR we constantly get turned out by somebody to give way to other aircraft. That is not how it works. Um, if somebody wants to overtake, then they need to give way. That's as easy as it gets. I mean, that's the rules of the air. Okay, so I suppose um, we can start entering our arrival here. 
And in the absence of any instructions, I'm just going to put in um, a Romy 27, it's going to be for sure. And we'll fly the Arnav right approach. Actually, do we? No, we fly the VOR approach. I don't trust the airplane to do the Arnav. So, La Books 1 Alpha, probably, leading us towards your course. And then we're going to take that. Okay, execute. What is the plane doing? Reverted to heading select, okay. Alright, two logs execute. And then we can put it back into Belna. And pass in level 100. Lights off, signs off. Alpha Delta to the Avron, Etienne 308 clear, the Rakion Kia to Tango 0 to dive, 7,000 feet and spoke 7004. Okay, uh, let's have a very Etienne quick look into correct. the routing, see what that looks like. One contact, uh, the Agora Sauer, yeah, that's about as worse as I expected it to be. But, we're probably not going to use Anna Fabina for that stuff anyway, so that looks uh, fine as well. Okay. Fabina page, well, not really, uh, really any good. Did he clear us to a higher altitude already? We might want to check on that. Olympic 195, please confirm the cleared flight level. Uh, Olympic 195, maintain flight level 120, your final. Maintain 120, final Olympic 195. He could have said that earlier, it would have saved him the transmission. Okay, well, in that case, should be on the. Here we go. This page, 120. again. Output transcript: 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 Output yeah, it looks like the voice 8 is broken, then we just gotta take the tax. And tax 8 says information Bravo, expect RMP approach, runway news 27, transition level 75, and 314, visibility 10 kilometers, few clouds 1800, QNH1008. Okay, caution, light turbulence on short final, advice on initial contact, you have listened to information Bravo. Perfect. So that's that stuff. Up at cruise altitude. Let's quickly learn to accelerate to cruise speed. And then we can shift our TCAS to the video. Yeah, right there, you might need to with the flight level 167 for 190. United States 32, hello, radar contact, line, flight level 19, line, flight level 230. Uh, Koheba, in descent, pushing Venus is a way to make it respect altitude constraints. Yes, it is. Well, obviously. Okay, 300 slash 14 without gas. Perfect, so that should be the FMC setup. Then we can quickly go ahead and set up our approach. So, view are on 27, minimum Please is going to be 1100. And the last thing we can do is to pre select the final approach course, which is going to be 270. It's just about put it into heading, and then you are we need two seven zero. Descent four thousand feet, QNH one zero zero eight. 
It's the unfinished one trying to direct the lab books. Okay. I'd read lab books for uh, uh, yeah, two speed. Choose power selected. Exit 404, airport inside, request visual abortion on the C6. Exit 404, clear visual approach on C6, uh, descent transport on the C6. That is what we're looking for. Enough setup. Department joining brace and clear visual abortion. So, Heraklion VOR 108.8, and we can take that active on both sides. Top Sky 760, send flight level 137, proceed direct to Xavi, XA Alpha Victor India Sierra. Okay, nice. That should be our approach setup complete. And in verse Galaxy 83, I thought decision height was used for order lands only. What is the purpose of it in the ATR? Well, it's, the ATR is capable of CAT2 approaches, even though you need to do manual landing. So, for that reason, to have it, uh, you have DH in the ATR as well. Okay, cool. So we're pretty much done with the setup. Let's see. Progress. Top of descent in 22 minutes. Yeah, I don't get why we have to maintain this low. Um, we could easily have climbed to a higher level, but if that is what they want, then that is what they want. Let's get an again to my contact to Iraq. One, two, three, nine, seven, five. One, two, three, nine, seven, five. That's again, nine, eight, Mike. Beautiful looking airplane, isn't it? Just looking at the propeller disc animation there. That looks interesting though. I would certainly expect the propellers to be bent a little bit more over here, like they are on the ground field. So that looks a bit interesting. Okay, so while we're cruising along, we might as well already go ahead and pre-plan yeah, our next flight so that things are going to go a little bit quicker. And here we go, new flight plan. Airline, okay, okay. we're going to be 196 from LGA to LGRB. The aircraft type is an ATR-76. As alternate, we're surely not going to go to Turkey, but we are going to go to uh, Kos. And I believe we can file the flight plan for maybe, I don't know, 10 past, tell the likes. Actually, you know what, let's follow for 20 past, um, just to be sure that we are correctly in the slotting queue. In the Lalfa 43, uh, vectoring ILS. Registration 0X ray Oscar Bravo November. And then the layout and everything is good. We are going to carry, let's say, 49 passengers. It's the Lalfa for Charlie, climb flight level 200. And that uh, looks fine for me. Climb maintain flight level 200, and that's all fine for the IG and flight for Charlie. So with that, our return flight is planned already, and that should make it a little bit easier when we are actually going to um, go back to Rodos so that we can make a quick turnaround. I have a feeling, with the number of aircraft that are flying here at the moment, we are actually going to um, encounter a little bit of delay, because, you know, we are the slow guys, so obviously we have to give way to everybody. At least that seems to be what I think combats them. Obviously bullshit in real life, I sat by hanging at night in ATR for long times. In any case, um, there's a question in the chat from Inverse Galaxy 83. Can you use virtual airlines in BATSIM and will controllers use the appropriate fictional call sign? Um, in most cases, 
The controllers will use the correct call signs because most virtual airlines have registered themselves with VATSIM. So for that reason, in the VATSIM files, in the VATSIM files, there are going to be the correct call signs, and ATC can see which call sign you have. And obviously, that means that you can fly for any fictional virtual airline while flying on VATSIM. Just think, for example, of uh, fellow YouTubers like Flight Tech to Sim with his Alpaca Airways. He's also registered it with VATSIM, and for that reason, he can use the Alpaca call sign on VATSIM. Or think of um, Osprey, for example, which is um, British Afjeek. He's also registered that with VATSIM. Uh, Winter Splash, is it true that you need to add... Olympic 1, Iron 5, contact Iraqi on 1, 2, 3, 9, 7, 5. 1, 2, 3, 9, 7, 5, Olympic 1, 9, 5. Iraqi and Kalispera, Olympic 1, 9, 5, flight level 1, 2, 0, in Mount Labux. Hello, Olympic 1, 9, 5, continue, present heading, expect RMP approach, runway 27, radar back. Continue present heading, request VOR approach 27 Olympic 195. Mm, Alright, expect VOR approach runway 27. Expect VOR 27 Olympic 195. Okay, heading select. We're getting radar vectored, that is good. And then we can already continue um, with a question that I just got interrupted. So Winter Splash has asked, is it true that you need to add 50 feet to your minima when you're flying a non-precision approach? If so, are RMP or RNAV approaches considered precision? So, um, let's start in general. Do you need to add 50 feet to your minima? That depends on the airplane you are flying. Generally, your operator is going to determine how many feet you need to add. The reason you're doing that is because you basically want to turn your MDA to a decision height. So, when you're flying non-precision, your minimum basically indicates an altitude that you must not descend through. However, if you initiate a go-around, initially, your airplane is going to descend a little bit before it is going to um, start climbing in the go-around, simply due to the inertia and the mass of the airplane. So, let's say that you press the uh, toga button, you are still descending, so you still need to pull up and you're going to lose a little bit of altitude in that process. For that reason, since on a non-precision approach you must not descend through the MDA, you add that little bit of an altitude to your minimum so that you make sure that you will never go through the actual MDA. For that reason you are adding additional... Um, for that reason you are adding a bit of altitude there. Now, how much altitude do you need? Well, that is going to depend on the airplane you are flying. So, for example, when you're flying a 737, in my operator, in my former operator, we added 40 feet. Other aircraft may use different... Um, other aircraft may use different values. So, that will have to be determined by your operator. Now, which approaches does that apply to? Basically, it applies to any approach where the minimum is not published as a VNAV minimum. So let's say you have an LNAV only minimum published, then you are not, then you are going to add that, but if you have an LNAV and VNAV minimum published, or if you have an LPV minimum, which by the way, we were not licensed to fly with the 737, but if you have an LNAV and VNAV minimum, then you don't need to add the altitude. And finally, how about RNAV approaches? Again, it depends on the minimum. If you have an LNAV minimum published, you add it. If you have a VNAV minimum published, you don't add it. And generally, precision approaches are approaches that have a vertical guidance available. And not one computed by the airplane's own FMC. So, precision approaches are approaches that have vertical guidance. That can be ILS, since you have a glide slope. That can be SRA. So, civilian radar approaches, because you have vertical guidance from the air traffic controller. And that can be GLS approaches, where you have vertical guidance based on the correction message you get from the GBUS station on the ground.
but those are the only approaches with vertical guidance. I'm not 100% sure how LPV is counted here, because as said, in my former airline we were not licensed uh, to fly LPV approaches. Zero zero. For approach, and Winter Splash, you're welcome. Yeah, and my Polish friend, um, or you can go like the Polish presidential plane and ignore the minimums completely. Yeah, you can do that as well. But please only do it when you have a government that you don't like. And you're cleared for the approach. We are cleared for the approach. And WTAF will not members get access to the service of walk-around video. Um, that's something I'm not 100% sure about right now. Generally, I want to make all those videos available for everybody. However, the problem is that I'm not sure how my former airline is going to react to those real-life videos. So for that reason, um, I'm not 100% sure yet. But eventually I'm sure yes, I just can't tell you a certain amount of time uh, when that's going to happen. And Google TRX LPV is precision in the US at least. Okay, that's cool. And Foxyol, how are you finding the ATR? I like it. I really like it. I really like it. Um, for sure it's not, you know, PMDG or Phoenix level, but it gets you from A to B. It does so in a decent manner. If you know how, you know, once you've done your first couple of flights, you also know your way around the issues that it has. So. Yeah, it worked quite well. In other words, I really like the ATR. It does what is uh, standard by the SOP, and that is all that I can ask for. Also worth it mentioning, always, is the cabin, which I really like in the ATR as well, and the two-part flight deck door. And I just, I just love the fact you have to walk through the cargo area in order to get to the passenger cabin. That's just something I really like. And it's just a very different airplane, you know? Um, it's just a very different airplane from the uh, standard that you are used to. So, for that reason, I really enjoy flying it. It's just different. Hello, for the Alpha two four, reduce speed. Okay, two fifty. That was our little excursion back to the cabin there. Um, and my pole friends, the ATR is worth every pound, though. I absolutely agree. For the price at which it comes, it is really unbeatable. In terms of value for money, the ATR might be one of the best add-ons out on the market, together with maybe the PMDG 736. And inverse Galaxy 8. Olympic 105, 6000, QNH1008. Under three for three contact uh, radar one three three. Six thousand check. Vertical speed minus a thousand. Set altimeter one zero zero eight. Sunny five mic in from descent uh, flight level manager. That's passing eleven point seven, the ascending six thousand no flex stand by set. Okay. Large nanary Yankee mic, clear that MP approach. Oh, been a while since I last flew the ATR, or rather... That's 200, let's pick 195. And again they turn us out. Alpha 24, descent flight level Once again, they turn us away from the route, because why not? Uh, Rattling radar, good afternoon. Uh, GN54 Charlie, flight of 180 inbound, labor, information Charlie. Hello, GN54 Charlie. Okay, um, uh, not sure why we don't get the descent check that's showing at the moment, so let's pick it ourselves. Descent checks, flight 180 system. Descent 
uh, make this for the RMP approach. Recall, landing duration, checked, FMS, map, check, 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 Walker 2099, descend 2300 feet and clear the RMP approach. Okay, so why do we not receive the VOR yet? 108.8 is active. Channel 85 mine uniform, descend fly level. And <laughs> Gabor, next time fly the dark star and butt them and make everyone go out of your way. <laughs> I should really do that. Unfortunately, the code of conduct explicitly forbids to fly the dark star. So it looks like some people actually did some uh, stupid things with that. But who needs a dark star if you can fly the uh, X-15? There is an add-on available for the X-15, so just take that. That thing actually goes Mark 15 or so. And Jan, but with the F-bomb, please. <laughs> sure thing. Okay, let's finish up the descent checks. DHMDA is 1100, set and checked. Arrival briefing performed, descent check was complete. Sun X85 might uniform descent 3000 feet, turn right, heading 120 degrees. An M flyer, opinion on the Dash 7. Uh, haven't used it, can't give you an opinion, sorry. Oh, that's good. That's good. In Inverse Galaxy 83, okay, I can only imagine the chaos right, that was caused when the Dark Star released. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the Dark Star wasn't the first airplane that went these speeds. Um, there is a Millennium Falcon and an X-Wing available for MSFS. So, how about those? An NM flyer, Fokker 28 coming out. Yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to. I really hope I'm gonna have the time to give the Fokker a little try. Olympic 16 Papa Mike, reduce speed to 10 knots. Düsseldorf spotter, hey, can you show the outside view, please? Greeting from Düsseldorf. Uh, yeah, sure. Not for very long, though, because we have to take the um, manual throttles in it now, so can't stay outside for too long, but for a short while, sure thing, why not? Okay. okay, gotta go back. Um, I just gotta keep managing the flight here because we are not doing this. Level so what we can do quickly is direct to Fox Delta. So inbound course 270. Then we can give it maybe. Uh, What's gonna be like 20 mile final? Sky 76 proceed direct to Gonzo. Yeah, that looks about good. So that should be our extended center line there. And you're clear for the RMP approach. Want to go? Olympic 195 right heading 235. Olympic 195 right heading 235. Walk at 2099 speed at your discretion. Contact tower 120 decimal 85. Thank you, speed is our tower 1 to 0, that's my design, that's a pretty good time. Sonic 8 5 mic uniform, speed at your discretion, uh, clear that and be And tube loops, lots of turbulence these days. Yeah, a little bit. Forex ray, alpha 2 4, uh, reduce speed 2 3 0. Are they actually vectoring us on top of the island? Surprise me. Normally you fly over the bay over there in order to avoid um, any noise pollution over the island here. But looks like they are doing just that. Adrian 5 for Charlie, right heading 260. Right turn 260, Adrian 5 for Charlie. Sun X85 mic uniform, contact tower 120 decimal 85. Adrian 85 mic uniform, I think some more track mounts. Alright, uh, I'm gonna take you out of the sequence, turn right heading 300 degrees. Right heading 
Winnipeg 19 and 5, turn the right, heading 250, clear as we are approaching. Uh, 250, clear as we are approaching, take 1 out of 5. 4XA, uh, Alpha 2.4, uh, heading 250. 130, clear as we are approaching. 130, clear as we are approaching. Winnipeg 19 and 5, descend 4000. That's 4,000 check. Vertical speed, 1,000 down. Sorry, I'm going to be a, Europa, a bit less thrust here. A bit less power, actually. Okay, we're clear for the approach. Four, so, five, four, three, left, descend, uh, you are captured. Correction, flag level 8-0. Send my tape on the way, 8 for Charlie. Yeah, 5 Charlie. We're 25 miles out. Uh, we and we're looking at 2,500 feet at 7 DME. Olympic 195, descent 3,000, clear that we are approached. Olympic 195, descent 3,000, clear that we are approached. Olympic 16, pump of mine, 3,000 feet descent 5,000. Okay then, let's do the approach checklist. For uh, FA Alpha 2, 4, descent On, uh, landing lights, on, altimeter, 1,708, set and checked, Kevin altitude. Is checked. Okay, Approach check is complete. Uh, American 125, uh, passing flight level uh, 160. Okay, let's expedite the descent a little bit. 1500 feet a minute. Flying a VR approach with. Um, and we're flying a VR approach only on the guidance of um, vertical speed. We need a two mile level segment. So we're looking at 2,500 feet at 7 DME. And we're just about going to bring it. Olympic 195, reducing 170 knots. Olympic 16, Papa Mike, direct in Okay, that's going to be a huge reduction there. Um, going to be interesting now. And you can descend for that. 170. For X-ray Alpha 24, reduce speed 200 notch. I'm already in flight idle, so it's going to be interesting uh, losing that speed. We have 10 more miles to run, so we need to be in 2500 feet. Descend flight level 7. Uh, right, 280 down to uh, flight level 70, again 5 for Charlie. Then Europa 245, left heading 160. Yeah, let's go speed hold. And then we're going to reduce that to 170. Uniform right, heading 0, 70 degrees. And we can descend to 2500 as we are cleared for the approach. Okay, traffic is ahead, about 500 right, miles out. 0, 70. 15 miles, 3,000, that looks good. We can maintain the 500 feet a minute and the 170. Olympic 195, contact Aura, 120.85. Bye bye. 120.85, Olympic 195, see ya. Olympic 16, we should do. And let's give him 170 knots. Contact Tower, good data, please. I'll start. Olympic Calispera, Okay, so we will need roughly a thousand feet a minute in order to uh, maintain the rate of descent. Tanko Kilo Yankee 76, good afternoon, continue approach runway 27. Oh, level and two and a half. Tango Kilo Yankee 76. Top Sky 76, go ahead. Top Sky 76, continue approach on week 27. Continue approach on week 27. Oh, approach speed active. Then we can go automatic speed control, gives us 170 knots as well. Olivia 16, Papa Mike, good afternoon, continue approach on week 27. Continue approach on week 27. 
Wagner to Akalis Pera, Olympic 195, VOR approach to 7. Olympic 195, good afternoon, continue approach, runway to 7. Okay, so, 10 miles. 193, contact Iraq, 123, decimal 975. 1, 2, 3, decimal, 9, 7, 5, thank you for I'll have to zoom in a tiny bit so that I'm actually able to read the, um... Number six, five, six, 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 okay, 9 miles, approach and descent. 1,100 feet set. A little bit fast here. Correcting. A film. Uh, uh, Olympic Alpha. Okay, let's see, is there anybody behind us? Yes, there is. And he's quite close, okay. Okay, vertical speed. 1000. How did it climb to 2800? Oh god, this is messing us over. Autopilot off. Why did it climb to 2800? How did that happen? Did anyone see that? Well, because now we're basically messed. Flap 15. Idle thrust. Uh, we are over 170, we cannot reduce. Oh, this is... I have no idea what happened. We are with you, we didn't call, but we are with you. Gear down. We're too much too high. I don't see how I'm gonna get that down. Well, we have it visual, so let's just about change to a visual approach. But we were 2,500 feet in altitude hold. How did we get to 2,800? Did anyone see that? Seven six climbed three thousand feet. Contact Iraqio. One two three decimal nine seven five. Coming a little bit faster right now. I need to. I need to descend. Seven two alpha. And lose speed at the same time. That is. That's nonsense. I don't know what messed us over, but. Traffic off runway two seven Olympic. Up full. Let's see. Maybe we can descend it in, but. This is really. I got to rewatch this in the aftermath, just to see um, how that went. Okay, so Mr. Approach altitude three thousand. Minimum. Minimum. Continue. Olympic one nine hundred five expect late landing clearance. Watch up. So five hundred foot is the stable gate. Let's see if we can make it. And why is my landing checklist not showing? So before landing checks, Kevin to advise, landing gate three greens, flaps 30, power management, set a takeoff, TOU low speed, check, icing AA lights, and external lights on for landing checks. Okay, this is a total mess. In real life, I would absolutely have gone around from this. In flight simulator, I suppose we can continue well, just for the sake of being in the flight simulator. Most importantly, why don't we get landing clearance if we don't see anyone on that runway? Olympic 195, wind 300 at 14, runway 27, clear to land. Runway 27, clear to land, Olympic 195. Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. 200. The pub is incorrect, by the way. You can easily see how that is. 30. 30. 20. Ten. Ouch. That was a bit more positive than I hoped. And why is it going to the side? Come on, airplane, don't do this to me. Back on track. I'm not even putting it in reverse over here. Olympic 16 Papa Mike, expect late landing clearance. Roger, 16 Papa Mike. Our exit. Okay, 
and off we go. Olympic 195, contact ground on 11.7. 11.7, do we go left or right? A contact ground for that. Okay, then I have to stop on the runway Olympic 195. That is stupid! How am I supposed to vacate now? If he doesn't tell me if I shall go left or right. Ow! Stupid. And hello Olympic 195. Olympic 195, Calispera. Okay, the right on Delta, stand Golf 15. Right, Delta Golf 15, Olympic 195. Yeah, because that is exactly what I expected. The Kate Wright. Yeah. Just tell me that. Okay, Golf 15 is um, all the way at the end. So park in front of the uh, Long Howl 737 over there. Hey then, time to clean up. Going a little bit fast here. Okay, after landing checks, it has temper, flight controls locked, flaps up, trims, reset, landing strobe lights off, anti deicing off, pro beat. Is off, TRU off, after landing checklist complete. Okay, so got a nice self maneuvering stand over here. Number 15. And then we can go over here, taxi light off. Taxi wire Delta cruise uh, runway 30 uh, and then. Uh, I love it when the tillers don't work correctly. And here we go. Okay, park mic set. Let's uh, shut down engine number two first so that they can connect the ground power unit. And we can feather engine number one. Number two is off. Okay, connect the ground power, please. Here we go. Ground power avail and number one. Off. Taxi via Delta, give way to what has the Airbus 820, then cross runway 30 to hold the point. Okay! So, both propellers are. Give way to Airbus 820, then crossing runway 30 to hold the point, runway 27, with the 7 unit for tank. Alright then, let's just put up some random frequency. 345 so that we have a little bit of silence here. Okay, and the parking checklist, please. Park and brake. Engaged, taxi and takeoff light. Uh, soft, conditional lever 2. Feather, beacon. Off, transponder. I believe we forgot that. Yep, we did. Oh, transponder standby, teleprop in position, and seatbelts off, park and checklist complete. So, here we are. Welcome to Heraklion, everyone. Oh, certainly an interesting flight there. That was most certainly an interesting flight there. So, time to have a look into the comments. Um, I probably missed a couple. And, um... Yeah, to be honest, uh, I have to say I'm a little bit done for the day, so uh, it was nice 
to do that flight, but uh, all the getting messed around today and all the time having to accommodate for interesting ATCs and stuff like that, um, I really have to say I've had enough for the day. <laughs> um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, we're gonna keep the plane over here. And um, I see you all for the... I see you all on, on another day for the next flight, but not today. I'm really done for. Thanks for watching. See you all around very soon. And um, my apologies for not doing the uh, second sector there, but uh, I've really had enough for today. Thanks for watching. See you all around, guys.